we have the Apple Card. This card has gained a lot of attention, mainly due to its seamless integration with Apple products. However, it falls short in several areas. The detailed benefits of the Apple Card include earning 2% cash back on all purchases made using Apple Pay and 3% back on purchases made directly with Apple, including the Apple Store, Apple Services, and select partners like Uber and Walgreens. This is particularly beneficial for those who frequently use Apple Pay and purchase Apple products. The integration with Apple Wallet makes tracking your spending and rewards straightforward and user-friendly. However, the reward structure has limitations. If you use the physical titanium card, you only get 1% cash back on all purchases. This is significantly lower compared to many other cash back cards that offer higher rates. This makes the card less appealing for those who prefer using a physical card over Apple Pay. On the positive side, there's no annual fee, no foreign transaction fees, and no late fees, which makes it relatively cost-effective. These features can make the card attractive to users who want a straightforward, fee-free experience. Despite these benefits, the Apple Card lacks a sign-up bonus, which is a major drawback. Most competitive cards offer a substantial sign-up bonus to attract new users, and the absence of this feature makes the Apple Card less enticing in comparison. The Apple Card is ideal for Apple enthusiasts who frequently use Apple Pay and purchase Apple products. Its integration with Apple Wallet and lack of fees provide a convenient and cost-effective experience. However, the lower cashback rate with the physical card and lack of a sign-up bonus are significant drawbacks. Given these factors, the Apple Card goes to Tier C, below average. While it offers some benefits, there are better options available for maximizing rewards and benefits.